that that vision and that goal you have written down that mind that inside that inspiration that dreams that you have inside of you is not going to manifest itself unless you 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 unless you take that bold step and you start so what are you waiting for what are you waiting for you are definitely going to have a lot of excuses oh happy new year guys welcome to my channel so today is the first class of the year you know and i feel like after the holiday break getting back into school is actually stressful especially with the fact that today now happens to be monday which means that today's class is by 8 a.m i had to struggle to get up from the bed i had to struggle to get up from the bed because let's just say my body is getting used to the holiday system the only thing about the holiday is that you tend to eat a lot and you tend to get broke easily but if it was an holiday system or holiday and you are getting paid like imagine living during the holidays and then you get paid i feel like holiday is gonna be extremely very very interesting but anyways we are getting back into the system and one thing i really don't like about this january and february is the fact that it's gonna be filled up with it's gonna be filled up with a lot of exams so i'm using this path it's gonna be filled up with a lot of exams because i'm offering seven courses and i've only done one exam so it means january february we are going to have the remaining six exams and also because some of those exams have like practical classes and some also has like theory um, classes so for some courses we might have two exams which is like one for the practical and one for the theory which is like the normal class why for some the practical can be like presentations or presentation basically so it's either the practicals are presentations or we have an exam for the practical class so this january february is gonna be filled up with exams and also because six more months and your baby girl is gonna be an msc graduate just six months left and your baby girl is gonna be an msc graduate in economics right so i'm so excited i'm looking forward to graduation or graduating and also i don't know if i'm looking forward to live after graduation but anyways we are just gonna take it one step at a time one step at a time i'm just dressing up i'll show you guys my full outfit once i'm done but let me show you guys the outfit or the dress i made yesterday which was on sunday that i'll be shipping today but because the class is by eight i will definitely ship maybe today or i'll book the shipments for tomorrow let me show you guys the dress so look at how beautiful it is african dresses are available anyways i've not painted it so well because the dress is actually bigger than the mannequin so i don't know if it's giving justice to it but you can see how cute it is this dripping effect and also cute so one of the things i got in the thrift store i don't know i made a short video about you know thrifting and going to the thrift store was i got this towel for about three zloty which is like not up to a dollar and i really love it because i'm definitely using it to iron i usually use like my normal towel to iron before and i was just scared of it getting bones someday especially with the fact that i have to iron dresses a lot because i make dresses so being able to get this for less than a dollar just saves me my towel from getting burnt you know so this is what it looks like i'll just show you guys my full outfits once i'm done fit check i have this um hoodie black trousers boots and of course my winter jacket because the weather is actually very cold and this is what my outfit looks like 
catch up with you guys. <coughs> Family, school are very important environmental factors which affect healthy behavior. Yeah, so this is related to the customer awareness as well. Uh, and from the market point of view, if we state that the health is important as a value for the customers, the markets recognize health as an important value, as an important factor, and bids and provides a lot of products, services related directly on or indirectly to the health as a value. Sometimes we can find ethical things. So, it's a beautiful Tuesday afternoon and the weather is actually very cold. It's about minus 14 degree. It is extremely cold. And the fact that, the fact that, so we've had two lectures now and we have about one hour break before the third lecture which is like the final lecture for today and the way you're going to know that the weather is extremely cold of course minus 14 is actually very cold is the fact that there's a class we usually have on tuesdays and today is tuesday so most times when we have the class the professor will ask us to you know drop our jacket downstairs you know like he doesn't want jackets to be in the class so that the class is not clumsy and all of that but the weather today and yesterday yesterday was minus 15 it was extremely cold today is minus 14 anyways we have one hour break before the next class so i want to use vlogging under this cold stress it's cold even with the glove i can still feel cold on my fingertips but a bit manageable so we have about one hour break i want to use this one hour to print because after the class i have to head out to the shipping company to ship out an outfit so i have this packaging bag here I have that uh, packaging bag where you know I have the outfits I'm about to send out here which I'm going to do once the class is over so but for now during this break let me head out and print out all the documents I need for the shipping so let's go I know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you One coffee? No, uh, one coffee three cups Three cups? Yeah, three cups Okay, so I'm done um, printing out and I just feel like in business generally or when you are into business or you have a business there are certain things you end up learning on the process right there are certain things that the more you do the more you just learn it I don't know how to explain it because the, I remember like the first order I sent out in Poland I usually just print like a copy because that is how it's been done in nigeria just a copy of your printing label and all of that but after that i was i discovered that i was supposed to print like three copies of each document and i was supposed to like attach like custom documents and all which is extremely different from how packages are being sent uh, in nigeria right so i'm heading back now to school and after the final class then i will head up to ship and also filling all this document because i have to definitely fill them so yeah thank you i don't know who needs to hear this and i don't know who this video is for but this is just me you know telling you that it is time for you to start it is time for you to start there is no perfect time that is the best time for you to start so I know at the beginning of this year a lot of you including me also has this dream 
or this vision that you know i want to start up a business i want to start up a side or zoom i want to start up you know something i want to learn a skill i want to, we have a lot of visions a lot of dreams about business or side or zoo or things that we want to start we want to travel right this is just a reminder that you should start take double step if your mindset from the beginning of the year is to travel or to process a country take the both step by reading take the both step by applying take the both step by writing the exams take the both step by buying the book take the both step by creating a logo for your business take that both step by announcing the business take that both step by deciding on the products you want to venture into it is time for us to take that both step there is no perfect time and the more you keep on giving yourself excuses the more we keep on saying oh i don't have this equipment oh i don't have this degree oh i don't have enough money to travel yet there is no perfect time i'm not saying that you shouldn't put things in structure i'm not saying that you shouldn't have things figured out all i'm saying is taking the both step is what you need for some of us are just too scared too fearful too conscious that we are even scared to even limp or even take the both step you know so like i said i don't know what this video is for but take that both step if you want to start up a business take the both step by creating a logo take the both step by deciding on the product take the both step by saving towards an equipment take the both step by saving towards you know maybe traveling or saving towards investment saving towards um a book or saving towards a course or a career like just take the both step there is no perfect time there is no perfect schedule taking the both step puts you in place or creates a reminder in your subconsciousness that you started this thing and you want it to end up well right and this is just to say this is not to say that you shouldn't put certain structures in place you shouldn't put certain things in place that is not what i'm trying to say because there are certain experiences or certain lessons that you will not learn until you start it is the process of you starting that you will learn certain process in the process of you starting that you will gain certain experiences that you will gather certain information but if you don't start you never can tell you know you want to travel this year in october you want to travel in october and this is january start by getting information about the course what course do i want to study what school do i want to study start by even making inquiry about what country do i even want to travel to you know that is just a step to start you know start by calculating the total cost or the funds that i need for this country or this country it is time for you to start that is what i just want to tell you it is time for you to start you have the mindset of starting a business maybe a fashion business or something start by buying that equipment start by investing towards that equipment there is no perfect time and there are starting experiences that you will never get until you start you know and the process to start or the moment you start you are already at the right path if, you, if it's okay for you to make mistakes it's okay for you to fall out it's okay for things not to work out it's okay for you to get rejection it's okay for you to be rejected it's okay for the business not to work out but one thing is for sure is the fact that you took that both step and you started you know and then when you get to that point then you can figure it out i hope this video helps someone this is just a reminder that that vision and that goal you have written down that mind that insight that inspiration that dreams that you have inside of you is not going to manifest itself unless you 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 unless you take that both step and you start so what are you waiting for what are you waiting for you are definitely going to have a lot of excuses oh i don't want to travel yet because i don't know if i'm going to get admission i don't know if i'm going to get visa i don't know if i'm going to start it is when you start that you know if you are going to get admission then you know if you are going to get visa if you don't start how are you going to know how are you going to know a reminder that that vision that dream that business that project that investment that goes it is time for you to start take this for me as a limp or as a stepping stone for you to start and i'm also talking to myself too <laughs> too long it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away yeah.